Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4. We are the Commonwealth, and we are marching our way through Poland if we have the ability to. So yeah, um, we have Disgruntled as the now Indians People Republic, so we'll see if that work. Uh, we have no idea what the hell is going to happen once the war Poland ends. We think something, but we're not 100% sure. It's kind of messed up currently. But yeah, so stuff. Anyway. Zaro is the Canadian People's Republic. Yep, and then we have Fish as the other guy. Oh. Man, my You're so, you're so far away there. I, I really am all the way down the here. The Australian People's Republic. Yep. Alright, we need our we tanks to hurry up and get to Warsaw first. That's kind of the key thing, is I need to control Warsaw. I'm letting Canada take over the northern states. It's perfectly fine. I don't need to worry about that too, too much. My troops here are kind of trapped. There's not much of anything I can do about them. So we're just going to hang out in the ports of Danzig, leaving them trapped. So these guys, well, you're just stuck. Nothing I can do at the moment. How's my war in... Did I finally finish it? I did. Okay, cool. So my African troops are all set. You go... Man. There's a lot of issues with all that. Now I'd like to bring something up. What? Before China capitulates, I feel like we could probably get away invading from Hong Kong while they are kind of in a delicate balance. Possible. There's this slight problem that we have no clue what the hell is going to happen over here. Yes. This is true. So I really don't want to get in a war until the other war is done. Yep. With Aww. you guys. I mean, I'm probably going to invade Nepal, but that's not a real war. That's, that's like a walk in, walk out. Yeah, pretty much. I think they have two troops. Oh man, I this. might not make it to Warsaw. I am trying my hardest. Yeah, it's looking like Germany's just gonna steamroll them. Mean, Germany had such an advantage though, anyways. Yes, yes well, they yeah. do. You might want to try moving your five guys in your Danzig into Danzig. I can't. It looks like it's unguarded. They are... Uh, can you move into Germany? Nope, they are out. Well, the good news is Germany's probably going to save your guys by taking Danzig. Yep, pretty much. Alright, military act training complete. Now I get back my troops, finally. Can't embargo Germany yet. Well, you probably don't want to do that right now. Yeah, probably not a good idea. However, what I can do... Royal Ordnance Factories. Get that up and running. And we have a lot of stuff ahead of us that we need to start figuring out and planning to deal with. Yeah, the likelihood of me capturing uh, Warsaw is now completely gone. They have it surrounded. Oh, they took it. And there we'll we go. We'll probably be getting a peace treaty soon. Yep. I'd imagine that should be any minute now. Probably once we knock out the other guys, Estonia and uh, Lithuania. Yeah, I guess Estonia is still going. But the Germans are pushing in on their flanks now. Oh. Really, really, Germany? That All was, right, then. That was risky. Oh. oh no. Well, you know what this means? We have time to deal with the United States. Yep. That bought us all the time that we needed, as soon as we can... Although, we do need to watch it, because if one of them rolls over for the other, we need to hit the one winning. Yes. Uh-oh, bad news. My troops are cut off. Ask for military Thanks, access Germany. to Germany. 
You're at war, they'll probably give it to you. Yep. There we go. Danzig has a port, so you should be good to... That oh, province looks like it has a port. It, though. Oh, I guess it doesn't it Doesn't have a naval base. Danzig does, but not where he is. Yep. Oh. Been over to Vancouver. Now that I have military access, though, I can finally start moving supplies. Kind of the big thing was not having any supplies. That kind of hurt a lot. Mm -hmm. Alright. Man, I've done, like, nothing this war, though. I know, Canada has to carry you again. Yup. You have 76%. 70 percent. I, I'm the next with 13, and it's just dropping, because I haven't done anything. There we go. Okay, I think you paused. I think we are. Yep. So take what you want up there, probably, or down here. Yeah, take you Belgium want to take Belgium first? first? Yep, Belgium first. And there's African Belgium. Yeah, I can't take all of Belgium right off the bat. Huh? I take the non-Africa. Because there's just a little bit of resources down there. Oh, I can't even do that. Crap. Mm -hmm. I'll take the port area first. All I know is I'm no longer a puppet. I get a little bit of picking. Back to me, so I can take the rest of Belgium. I take this. Yes, I can. Okay, cool. I got all that. Should we bother with Poland or just kind of say, forget it? Take what you want. It's up to you. I mean, if you want to take some, take some. But if you want to also give stuff to me down here in Siam or take some for yourself, that's fine. Oh, you have points Siam. now. Yeah, you can I know do I have it yourself. Points, but I'm just saying if he doesn't have anything else to use his points on, he can give it to us. I want to take nope. Estonia. I can't. It's back to Britain, it looks like. Back to me. All yeah, right. It's you and Germany back and forth, back and forth right now. Yeah, pretty much. I, I don't really want to mess with... What is that? With uh, Poland, because it's just going to be eaten up and there's going to be a problem later. So let's buy stuff for you, shall Although we? Although taking a port might be worth doing. A port? Oh yeah, just so I can have troops over there? Yeah. But yeah, that also makes just sense. You know. Like if you can take Haruj or whatever, but then again, that's in the area that Russia might just say hi. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna avoid it, actually. Okay. And I can't really claim much for you, can I? Let's, let's try that again. Can I at least claim that? Yes, I can do that. It's still on you. Can I do that? Yes, I can do that. You're welcome. Thank you. Back to Back me. To Factories. I have a few more now. It's Congrats. actually a lot, I think it's I am. Alright, did you want, um... Ooh, did we want anything? Up in the Poland and the... I would Estonia? like to take could... Estonia. I would like to take at least Harju there. Yeah. Go ahead and give it to him. Oh, I can't yet. I have to pass one more turn. There we go. Now I should be able to. There you go. Alright. Anything else, or is that all we really need? I mean, we, if, if we can take land, we might as well take it, but... That's all I wanted. I just don't want to get in, don't wanna get in the middle yeah, of this nightmare. I would, I'm good with what we have. So am and I. And click done. If you want to be done, just hit done. Yep. Then done. It's up to you. Yeah, ah, you're, you're being daring taking and trouble. taking it. Factories, man. I need them. You're up, Canada. I'm good, actually. Just click out. <laughs> Let's see. Just, they're at war. Uh, so, Germany's at war with the Soviet Union right now. Yep. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna leave that little gap at the bottom. Alright. Still you. If they don't want to take it, I will take it. Okay. I mean, I will take free factories. Oh, oh no, I can't. I can take, like, absolutely nothing. So, there we go. <laughs> nothing left for me. Well, that went well. So, can I... Now, let's try and sort out what the hell's going on here. 
I can't declare war. Are we in war? What's going on? It's because you're in the same faction. Maybe if I you can't leave, leave faction. Can you kick me out? Um, can I control my faction? I don't. I don't think like, so. Usually, there's oh, there's. No, Wait, you have to look. You I have, have to click, to on, click Britain. on Britain. So maybe if you leave his faction, you declare war on British Raj, and we just don't join. That could be it. That that would probably do it. I think I automatically join though. I don't think so. Uh, I think he's going to because he's a puppet. Oh yeah, puppet. Uh, Let me see what I can do uh. to them though. Can you release the puppet? I do not have that option. Oh, I'm uh, gonna do the thing. That's me. Okay. I mean, we're just gonna have to see what happens. We're learning. Yeah. We could always, since this is not an Iron Man, we could always just save it, see what happens, and then revert. Dave Scummer. Well, you Bill. If you don't want to, we don't have to. No. Well, I mean, just see what happens with it, I suppose. That good chunk of that gave me five military factories, so. Yeah, it gave me a lot of military factories. Gave me at least ten. Man, I'm so built up everywhere. Not many options left. Damn, I can do one, two, three, four, five, six rows of construction. That is a little much. That's a lot of civilian factories. Yes, yes it is. No, Soviet Union, I'm not joining the commies. Not their commies, anyway. I just like how there's that little so, border. It's the only border between the Germans and the Soviets. Yeah, which will, which may end up Actually be forcing good. this to be a massive, like, meat grinder. I know, but that's good, isn't it? Yep. Yes. Well, I mean, it'll kill off all of their, uh, their manpower. No, no, no. No, Russia has too many men to kill off. Oh, I have to declare on you to declare on them because they're a puppet dark. Ah, uh, lame. But then I think we can control our own surrender, though. You have. I think you have to be like forty percent war in his favor, or the winner. I don't know. A loser has to offer the peace deal. I think for offer peace. We'll, we'll figure it out in a yeah. second. Yep. I mean, I have to make a go a thing on you again. A claim. National Spain's out of the question. Italy's out of the question. Oh no, Nepal. Why? Man, so many things that I'm juggling. Back and forth. So we're almost to 40, by the way. If anybody's keeping track. Mm hmm. Make sure I have everything I want. Okay, modify my government. Who should I get next? It's always a good question. What should I do next? Um, that's construction. That's military conversion. It's factory construction speed. Political power gains not a bad thing. So we'll do that. Political power gain, when in doubt. We can start clearing some of these guys. What? What'd you do? No, my troops I told to go over to America are going to the wrong port because they're stupid. Oops. Yeah, I guess we need to start staging for that, don't we? Yeah, well, we gotta figure out the Raj situation, though, too. Yes, agreed. <clears throat> well, 
I guess my troops in Southeast Asia are now pointless over there. Oh, enjoy Nepal. <laughs> Bye, Nepal. Hey, it's factories. It was four factories. Oh, I don't have enough convoys. Yeah. That is always the problem. See, I think it's really just messed up because of the uh, thing. Because it says I have a war goal, Dude. but it won't let me declare on them. So you have to probably declare on me. I don't know, man. You did something weird. Well, I'm going to have to justify on you just in case here. Yep. Apparently, I have no political power, so it'll be a second. Well, I hit the revolt, is what I did, and yeah. because we were in war together, I think it got messed up. Yeah, that's probably true. I think that's the short of it. That probably did not help it, that is for sure. I'm already moving my troops to a staging ground for a uh, war with America. I mean, if, you, if you guys want to do the war with America, go ahead. But, I mean, I don't know what's going on here with me. And if I'm unlucky, I might get drawn into that war if I do declare on you, if you understand what I'm saying. It might get joined, and we don't want that. I don't know what to do here. Yeah, you you might have to declare on me. I'm not 100% certain. That's I think I'm going to have to. And then, and then I can just forfeit as soon as you finish taking that area. Can, can we forfeit in a war? I've never tried to lose a war. No idea. Yeah. I offhand do not know. <laughs> yeah, it's not something I've tried before. I can't even begin to guess, man. Well, like, right now I can't declare on either of you. So there's the points to justify on you. Okay. So it's always 1940. So what else should I get? Probably this guy. Declaring war in Afghanistan, eh? Someone's getting pretty aggressive. These pieces are all little crap holes. Yeah, but they're worth stuff. It's a few factories. Actually, we might cancel your orders. Yeah, they're just getting pushed right back, the Afghanis. Do that. We'll go ahead and justify war goals on you. We'll do that. So then when they start building, we'll be good to go. Construction-wise, I need to build more, more stuff.
I didn't even see what that latest news report was. I kind of just comment turn pack. Say yeah, comment gotcha. turn pack. The anti comment turn pack, anyway. Where's this convoy? Oh, didn't even see that convoy. Okay, well, a lot of stuff floating around. You're fine. I mean, I'm, if we could ever get the war going, I'll eat the Raj pretty quick because they're just surrounded. The AI doesn't know how to multi border. No, they don't. <clears throat> Signed yet. Okay, perfect. Just what I needed. So now we can start researching this. Set up for our naval invasion of uh, basically Florida and Atlanta is what I'm going to go for. So that way I'm supporting the push from the other side. Or you can just walk in from the north. Naval invasions are more fun. Let me do them. Fish, you're gonna hold uh, British Columbia for me? Well, I was gonna try and take the uh, west coast, yeah. It just allows me to shorten my line up a bit. Alright, I'll extend mine out a little bit. I just, I only have 11 divisions covering from Minnesota to Vancouver, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, pretty yeah, it's a, it's a little tight for you guys. So how goes your justification against me? I don't know. So how do March, I... March of 40 is one of them. And April of 40 is another one. End of April, so May essentially. So two months, we'll be able to know. Gotcha. One month want... for the... Oh, go ahead, sir. You could shorten your line up a little more, Zara, also a bit wider. Alright, so we'll put you guys... Do you want to cover from Alberta West for me? Sure. Alright. It's probably a one-to-one -one matchup down there. And I guess they, they got five sitting in uh, Six. Washington. Five. But I've got enough facing, you know, head-to-head -head with them. Yep. Well, I have you with air cover over... Uh... Eastern Canada, so that should help. Right. I have none. <laughs> I've been building tanks, not planes. Well, luckily I've been building planes as well, so you should be okay. Man, oh, I I'm going to lose basically all my resources the moment that we get into this battle. Switch it out. I already did. I, I started uh, getting all mine from the USSR. Good call. Good call indeed. For you. <laughs> Not exactly the uh, the place to go for a lot of stuff. Uh, I got tungsten from you, and I think I got rubber. Yeah, because you have the rubber area. Oh yeah, that's right. I do. Air defenses. Air defenses. Air rearmament. Ooh, that might not be bad. All that isn't bad. There's so many things that are actually pretty decent. Don't want to embargo Germany. That'd probably not go well. Let's go ahead and start doing that. We're kind of jumping all over the place. Making the best of it. Alright. Welp. I can't even start planning my naval invasion until I finish this research. Change this from Euro to US.
I just swapped all my uh, all my cavalry divisions over to heavy tanks. Oh, nice. Heavy tanks supported by heavy SPGs. It's my new build, and I, I like it quite a bit. But I got six motorized heavy SP, uh, SPG and two heavy tanks. You get beat by it once, and then you gotta do it yourself. I see how it is. Hey, it, it works for you, and it's a 19 combat width, so... Wait, what is the layout for this thing? This, what I run is six motorized or mechanized, and then uh, a heavy SPG and heavy tanks, and then two heavy tanks. Gotcha. And then I'll flesh those out as it goes to get up to... A so is more. that actually a motorized division you're using? Yep. Okay. I got gotcha. Stop training regular ones, and I only trade them now. Interesting. So what do you use for, like, beach landings and stuff, then? Tanks. Nah, I don't actually do much beach landings. Got it. I did use cavalry on that last one. <laughs> hey, if it I works. Cavalry I had three cavalry divisions beach landing. So in, even, in my just infantry divisions also run, uh, are running, because Canadian ones start with media, or light tanks in it. Yeah. I added, uh, I swapped it out for heavy, uh, or I added two heavies, I think, also to it. No, it's a heavy, a heavy SPG, a heavy tank, and a light tank. Which I'll probably swap the light out for heavy here when I get numbers for that. Still got a couple hundred tanks in reserves, and I'm making, uh... You get an event here? I don't know what it is, Dark. I want to read it. Um, with Nobel, uh, Union is preparing for war, etc, etc, etc. CPI have turned their eyes towards the Union of Britain. Argued attack is the best defense. This is exactly why we need to be ready. So nothing. Okay. Yeah, nothing useful. Yeah, I should be making almost five heavy tanks a day, I think, by the time I'm done. By, like, once it gets all the way up there. I have a full production line making heavies, so... I wish I had that many factories. Yeah, man, I'm up to uh, yeah. 46 civilians, I think. Yep. We need to get fish some land. And I'm up to 35 military. <clears throat> I've been building nonstop too. Oh, looks like Germany finally broke through the. Uh, the gap. Yeah, the gap. The Ukrainian. Oh, they're starting to finally expand. The Ukrainian Germany's probably there. gonna win. But we'll see. You'd think Russia, well, Russia's fighting on two fronts, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yeah, that's that's part of the problem right there. Numbers yeah, are pretty so similar, though. It's still not less letting me use the India uh, declaration. There's another British Raj event. I don't know what to tell you, man. Well, we're going to pause it in a second when I declare war on you, but I think I'm going to have to declare on you. What, just straight up declare on me? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to. wonder if this can gonna immediately just... peace out and no, give you that. You can't immediately. You have to fight for a little bit. Okay. I mean, I, I can take the Raj down. That's not an issue. Yep. So let's let's save it just in case something screws up here. Yeah, okay. so this is a test run. We're almost out of time too, so. Well, do you just want to save it here, Zara? You got to save. I do have it saved. All right, let's save it and go ahead and call it, and we'll just test run it real quick to see what we need to do. How's that sound? Yep. Oh, Whatever. He's got to save. So. Uh, well. We're... Now it says I can't declare on you. Really. <laughs> Yeah, I can't do it right now. Why Why can't you declare on me? It's saying now 30... It, well, I don't know what the hell is going on here. Do we we gotta wait a little game. bit more. Alright, well... It's, it's now saying the end of April. Alright, well, we will... Um, we'll go ahead and wrap up while the time expires then, and then we'll test this off screen. So thank you everybody for coming out to this episode of our Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4 as the Commonwealth. Um, yeah, we're guess we need to figure out the whole British Raj India People's Republic thing, and we'll go from there. Alright guys, we'll catch you in the next episode. 
I don't know, we probably need to hit the United States or German Reich at that point. So we'll deal with it then. Alright, thanks everybody, and we'll see you next time.